Hey! Hey! Hello, stranger. Uh, what can I get you? I don't know. Why don't you come up with something? Have you ever tasted a dragon breath before? No. Matter of fact, I never heard of it, but I like the name. What's it made of? Oh, well, it's very simple. You get two onions, and then you chop them in a cocktail shaker with one quarter gin, one quarter rum, and two quarters whiskey. And then you add a couple of red chili peppers, and you shake the whole thing up and serve it on the flame with a little lemon rind. Sure, buddy. Give me a double. Whoops. Hey! Hey, man! Haven't you ever seen those Western movies where the barman uh, slides the drink down the bar and the, and the cowboy just catches it? Hey, hang on a second. Cinemascope hasn't been invented yet. How's I supposed to know? All right, let's not fuss over it. How about another drink, cowboy? Sure, buddy. Give me a double. Whoops! Hey! Hey, man! Haven't you ever seen those Western movies where the bar... Sure, buddy! Hello, can I join in? No, leave us in peace. Hello, my friend. How are you doing? Oh, not too bad. The pay's good in this place, and they only shoot at the penis about once or twice a week. Only once or twice a week? Hey, this place is real drab. Lucky there's good old tequila to heat up the atmosphere. Come on, play something cheerful. I would do it, sir, but I'm far too thirsty to play now. What bright and alert faces we got here. If I have... Play something cheerful. I would do it, sir, but I'm far too thirsty to play now. Play something cheerful. Oh, a musician. I remember that as a child, I... Empty tables and chairs. Empty tables and chairs. Listen! See to it! 
it yourself to quench the thirst of these flies buzzing around here. This here fly is real friendly. If she comes over to the counter, I'll offer her a drink. What bright and alert faces we got here. If I had to play, I would surely get rich. Why don't we see each other outside? We need to settle a few things. We have to finish the game until each one goes bankrupt. Empty tables and chairs. This barrel is you. This barrel is you. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Hello, Mr. Smith. Only Smith. Okay, Smith. Take good care of my horse out there. Don't worry. He's in good hands. I'm an expert on horses. Blacksmith tools. $25. Coffins, five to ten dollars. Grave, two dollars. Pit, two dollars. Cross, three dollars. Tombstone, five dollars. Put beautiful flowers, and they are more suitable for a woman. This hearse, it's much more comfortable than my saddle. I could stare at this sign for days and days. Good morning. What lovely stuff we got here. And it's all first choice. You know you look a lot like Smith. How dare you? Are you suggesting that I have the face of a blacksmith? Just get out of here. Good morning. What lovely stuff we got here. It's okay. I was just having a look around. It's very important to have a comfortable saddle. You either move or your dead meat, Mr. Sheriff, good for nothing. 
This town's too small for both of us. Say your prayers. Oh, please, God. Don't tell me it's that lousy womanizer and troublemaker, Tequila. Oh, rascal, you recognize me. How could I ever forget the biggest troublemaker on this side of the Mississippi? What brings you to Stinky Town, old scoundrel? Are you wanting to increase your reward? Who, me? Now, I've become an angel, you know? I haven't stolen anything for the past two days. What are you doing hung on to that star you're wearing? Have your Sioux friends messed up your brains? It would do you good to spend some time with them. Although they would probably skin you alive the day after. Truly, it's just thanks to the diplomatic achievements we reached with the Sioux that I'm sitting on this chair today. The government wants me to start up some contacts with the Apaches and the Navajos. This star is only a cover-up for the operation. I was curious to see the southwest border, but I'm afraid that I'll have to go farther on, so I passed to say hello to some old friends. These places are becoming far too civilized for my tastes. I need a slightly livelier atmosphere. Even a quiet place like Stinky Town gets animated when you're around. By the way, I hope you didn't have a hand in the shooting at the saloon, did you? I knew it. To hell with my peaceful days. I thought that I could spend my last years in peace and quiet before retiring. Do you have any news from my old grumbling friend? I've been told that he was missing New Mexico. I would like to prepare him a little surprise before leaving. Who? 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 Yeah, I heard that he settled down. Oh, you know how he is. He gets offended very easily. But then he gets over. He's only a nagging old bear. Well, if you find him, send him my regards. I'm very curious. I'm very curious to see through this window. I'm very curious to see through this window. So who's winning? Who knows? We always end up even. Both of us always manage to make a poker of aces. That's it. Now I understand why you're winning all the time, you damn cheat! Me, a cheat! Even you are winning all the time! Oh, I'm so sorry for being the cause of such a tragedy. Play something cheerful. I would do it, sir, but I'm far too thirsty to play now. Old cart with many rusty nails. Something could get hurt. Old cart with many rusty nails. my girl, I'd really like to help you, but your credit bill's already very long and... But tomorrow's Timothy's birthday. 
I need the ingredients to bake him a cake. I'm really very sorry, but my wife would kill me if she knew that I'd given you anything else on credit. I understand. Timothy will be very disappointed. What a heavenly smack. I must know who the angel is who lost this. During the gold digging days with good old Bert, this stuff flowed in gap. Hey, old Clint used to drink this stuff all the time. Hey, don't play with my merchandise. saw a girl with a similar grace. Hey son, it's quite rare to find such good quality laps. Mr. Moe should pay more attention with these knives in his store. All these shoes make me feel like walking. By the tail of a thousand drunken buffalo. By the tail of a thousand drunken buffaloes, this cabinet is filled with jokes. How can I help you? Who's the lovely creature who just left? Why do you want to know it? I found this handkerchief. I think it belongs to her, and I would like to give it back. You can leave it with me. I'll give it back to her next time I see her. Hmm. Actually, I would like to give it back to her myself. Oh, no way, son. That poor girl has enough trouble by herself and surely doesn't need a smart guy like you buzzing around her. Trouble? How could such a lovely creature ever have any trouble? It's not your business. You are too nosy. Does it have anything to do with money? I heard you talking about debts before. Maybe I could help her. By your looks, I really don't think that you can solve half of her problems. I bet that what you have in your pocket wouldn't even settle one-tenth of her bill. Hey, son, it's quite rare to find such good quality an Indian souvenir. Indian soup. Mr. Moe should pay more attention. How can I help you? It's okay, I was just having a look around. Hey, hey, this is one of the latest cash registers. Nobody at home. A real wooden chest. Wow, guys, what a set. A real wooden chest. Wow, guys, what a set.
This fountain reminds me of a story I once read. Great, immense pleasure it is to meet you. Just look at yourself. You're more beautiful, attractive, and wonderful than ever. Oh. Don't try to flatter me, Mr. Vile. I know very well what your intentions are. You're just a wicked, slimy, greasy crook. Now it's me who's being flattered. Said by you. Certain words sound like music to my ear, but I see you've got company. Who's your little insignificant, pathetic friend? He's Mr. Tequila, a real gentleman, unlike you, Mr. Vile. Tequila? What a suitable name. He's got the height, smell, and charm of just such a drink. So, you must be the famous Vile. Mr. Vile to you, dirty rat. I've heard people say that you're the stinkingest skunk in New Mexico, but I must admit that they were wrong. Why, thank you. Sure. Why limit ourselves to New Mexico? You must surely be the stinkingest skunk in the whole West. Oh, so that's what you think of me. Gosh, I'm so upset. You know, I really care to hear the opinion of drunkards, bores, and ignorant people like you. Well, it's my opinion too, if you care, no? Oh, really? Gee, I must change my PR agency, it seems. Come on, little Melissa. Haven't I always protected you? Oh, sure. Your bank has given us a loan, but only by mortgaging our farm. How very generous that is. Oh, how innocent you are, my little girl. That mortgage is only a formality. Do you think that I would be able to put you on the street with your old father and your little brother? I'm sure you would like to. You just can't wait to get your dirty hands on our property. But there's still one week to go before the mortgage term expires. And I'm sure that by then, we'll have the money to repay you back. Of course you will. I'm sure it will be just that way. However, if by some chance, oh, I'm sure it won't happen, but by very odd coincidence, things don't turn out the right way, remember my offer. I will never agree to it, Mr. Vile. Take care, little sweetheart. Nobody ever says no to Mr. Vile. If there is anyone here who should take care, it's you, fool. Listen, worm. Don't test my patience. With just one snap of my fingers, I could squash you like a cockroach. Do you get my message? I wonder how you'd manage to snap your fingers after I have broken both of your thumbs. Fine. I've wasted enough of my time on you, peasant. Melissa, whenever you need me, you know you're welcome to drop by the ranch. Are you crazy? Face Mr. Vile that way? Your life is in serious danger. Why did you do that? I didn't like the way he looked at you. You're either very brave or totally nuts. Anyway, thanks for taking my side. Please accept this fan as a side of my gratitude. Don't mention it. I would do anything for you. May I see you 
Maybe it's better if I come to visit you another time. Say something cheerful. A barman's is on. No hey. So how'd you like it? Delicious. Maybe a little too light, but overall it was good. How about another one? Sure, buddy. Give me a double. What a cute pump. Empty tables and chairs. See through it. Hello, Miss. Okay, Smith. Take good care of my horse out there. Don't worry. He's in.
Hey, my friend, you asked for it. Hi, John. Have you got a minute to spare? I'm quite busy. Any way you can talk. What are you up to? Well, I'm amazed at the amount of trust you have in me. Goodbye. I'll manage on my own. Seems that we are ready to hang someone. Good morning. What lovely stuff. It's... It's see-through.
so hell did you like it? Delicious. Maybe a little too light, but overall it was good. How about another one? Sure, buddy. Give me a double.